I'm going to completely remove netherite from this entire server. Not just from the nether, but from players' armor, tools, and even their ender chests. Because as long as we've been a team, we've just been picked on and we've just been killed. So the best way to become powerful is for no one but us to have netherite. You realize that this is going to be nearly impossible, right? That's true, which is why I formulated a three-step plan. Step number one. Mine. So netherite spawning is based on chunks. On this server, there's a 3,000 by 3,000 nether board, aka 9 million blocks. Divide 9 million by 256, multiply 35,000, that is 58,000 chunks, aka to mine almost 100 double chests of ancient debris. But by installing a mining optimizing mod, I am able to automatically mine any ancient debris in my general vicinity. Little did I know, the problems this mod would cause later on. Problems aside, after mining for only an hour or so, I was able to get 13 stacks of ancient debris, which was really solid, but before I got off for the night, this happened. If you didn't notice, I just almost messaged a member on the server instead of my teammate Willy about the plan. If I even gave the server any clues about what we were up to, not only would I have a target on my back, but the server's members would know to gather as much netherite as possible before I can complete my mission. For the next two days, I AFK'd in mind while going about my usual day, and I was making big progress on collecting all the netherite from the nether, but when I tabbed in to check my progress, I, I, I just died with all the netherite, look. Uh... Hot, bro. On top of losing the netherite, I lost a multiplier. On the levels SMP, multipliers are an item that multiply the XP you get by the amount of display. When you kill someone, you gain a multiplier, and when you die, you lose one. If you get to zero multipliers, though, you are banned from the server. So, if I kept dying, I will be banned in no time. When I got back to my base to smelt the netherite I had mined, I was met by my teammate Willie asking for a favor. He wanted to borrow all my multipliers so that he could grind gear for a fight more efficiently. I agreed and gave him all my remaining multipliers for a few hours. After all, if he was able to end his opponent in his fight, a full set of netherite gear and tools would be removed from the server. So in the meantime, I went to mine some more netherite until... It's just... It was Flamefrags, not only the best PvPer on the server, but one of the best PvPers alive. He had caught me hacking in the nether and now wanted me dead. I couldn't fight back because I had no potions. I couldn't run away because I had two pearls. Right now, I was at one life, so if I died, I would be banned from the SMP. No! I had just been banned off the server. If I wanted to remove netherite from the server, issues like this would be too common, and honestly, I was starting to consider quitting. I mean, right now, I literally can't play on this server. I just revived you. Like, already? Yeah, welcome back. This wasn't about me anymore. This is about my teammates. If I truly wanted to protect my teammates from the server, I had to finish what I started. Clearly though, mining wasn't working. I had been mining for a week straight, only had 8% of the netherite on the server, so it was time to start step 2. So multipliers are craftable, but they're just really expensive, so we can make all the farms needed to craft infinite multipliers, and since multipliers are the only thing more valuable than netherite, we can sell the members of the server multipliers in exchange for netherite, and we're basically going to have everyone mining netherite for us. This is a solid plan. Pay people and multipliers to mine netherite for us. But there are two issues. Number one, multipliers are way too common on the server, making them not as valuable as they should be. Number two, multipliers are incredibly expensive, but we'll get to that later on. For now, the best way to make multipliers valuable again is by getting rid of them by killing players. And lucky for me, a fight just broke out at spawn. But before that, a while ago, I started a sub race with my friend Jumper Who to 20,000 subscribers. And now, she has over double my subscribers. No one thinks it's possible for me to beat her there, but I believe that it is. So please subscribe. It's only my seventh video on my channel, so you'll also be an OG. Oh my god, I might be dead here. Oh, I just almost died. Oh my god! Oh my god! You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're wondering what's happening, well, a guest just joined the server for the first time, and a team of four players were spawn killing her for all her multiplayer. While the guest escaped, her ally was forced to fight these four players in a 4v1. But by helping the guest, I had just gained access to four kills, which, if completed, would allow me to make multipliers valuable again.
Let's go. After one yes. of them died, the other three fled the fight, but not before I could claim two more multipliers for myself. So later that day, there was a big duel in the server arena, and I knew that with all the server members in one place, there would be an opportunity to drain more multipliers. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. So after the duel, I challenged Flamefrax to a 1v1. I knew I would lose this, that was obvious, it's Flamefrax. But if this guy slips up, not only will I avoid a flow netherite set and a multiplier from the SMP, but I'll have ended my number one enemy on the server. Tonight we have a battle of the two best players on the server. I'm going to open the gates as we have flame frags and main pair enter the arena. Three, two, one, begin. Eating a capple, meaning he was a little bit low. Oh, oh, oh my god! Dying here was fine. I was prepared for that. But what I wasn't prepared for was a player named JPEG stealing all of my stuff when I died. I didn't expect anyone to loot me. So, in my inventory, I had a bunch of pickaxes on low durability from mining nether. If anyone killed JPEGs and got my stuff before I arrived to spawn from my base, everyone would see the pickaxes and realize my plans. So, I had to get to spawn and get my stuff back fast. Luckily, I was able to get there just in the nick of time and retrieve my item. For now, I think that's enough multipliers gone. So, let's tackle the second issue with step two. The crafting recipe for a multiplier consists of wither skulls, totems, netherite, and XP bottles. XP bottles are super easy to get using villagers, and I have a little extra netherite, but if we wanted to trade multipliers for netherite, I'd have to make a wither skull farm and a totem farm, which are both banned. So let's just start with the wither skull. After three hours of non-stop doing this, I completed the farm and AFK'd it for a few hours. All right, so I've been AFKing overnight. So let's see the haul of wither skulls. This is so embarrassing, bro. It was clear that if I wanted enough multipliers to trade for all the netherite on the server, this is not about to cut it. So, I present to you the Wither Grinders 3000. Nah, I'm kidding. This is on single player. But, the longest thing on levels requires a turtle egg. An item that requires hours and hours of grinding. And if I'm being honest, I'm not doing all that. So, I traded with KJ Master for an egg in exchange for another netherite block. And, don't worry. That block will be dealt with later. Building this new form is pretty easy peasy since I already did most of the work in my last attempt. So, again, I AFK'd overnight. Oh my god, bro. Why are they so f***? Bad. It seemed like every wither from my build was not working nearly as well as it should have been. At this rate, I would never have all the nether on this server. So, let's just the smartest player of the SMP for some help. There's mainly like two things that I can pick out. Obviously, you have the blaze spawns. And then the other thing that you have is the mob spawns outside of the farm. Wait, so why can't I just like... Turn my chunk distance down. The server has its own distance. KJ explained to me that because of chunk, render, spawn rate, whatever, the only way to have an efficient farm is to build a very specific one that will take me hours upon hours for to multiplier. You help me with the farm and you like carry it. Okay, I can I can do that for one multiplier. I'll and in no it. longer than a night, KJ finished the entire farm and sent me the coordinates of where to AFK. I've, I've been AFKing for a bit under an hour. Let's see how many wither skulls I got. Oh shoot. Yo, that's actually that, that's actually super good. What? After only three attempts, I'd finally crossed Wither Schools off the list, and now I just had to make a totem farm for the last resource to grab from multipliers. Originally, I was planning on doing this myself, but when I heard a player was desperate for multipliers for some reason, I had to ask him for a favor. An entire raid farm? I mean, yeah, I'll give you like 10 multipliers. I think it's worth it. Only 10? I have 15. You want 15 multipliers, bro? Yes. It's a whole raid farm. Okay, how about this? half of it for 10. What? I'm not gonna pay for half the money. Ah! What? Alright, how about I pay you 10 now? After the raid farm is built, um, you know, I can give you the, the 5 after. And you, you can have access to it. Deal. Knowing that Spongs is the worst player on the server, though, I knew that he couldn't do this alone. So, I decided to meet him at my base and give him a helping hand. Can you just stand here 
I'm just sweeping edge all the villagers, just kill them all. What the f Why? I can't do it because I trade with the villagers, they're gonna get mad at me. What about this guy? Is this John? You can do what you want with him. I think I'll burn him on the fire alive. He's not gonna be stuck on it. He's actually very smart. Yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Soon, I realized that I was probably just making Spongs more unproductive, so I just logged off until Spongs told me that- The farm's done, all you have to do, you have to use a sword that doesn't have fire aspect, get the bad omen effect, and then just hit the armor stand in the little kill chamber area, and it should just sweeping edge the mobs, and then you just AFK Let's there. Just see, I've only been AFK for like, literally like less than five minutes. Yo! Damn. Nah, 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 nah. Why the hell do you have so much netherite? Uh, All the farms to make infinite multipliers were finally complete, but before I could craft the multipliers, Spongs wanted to talk to me about something. I don't really even want to be on Flames team. You know, I, I feel like us as a as a duo where I could join you and um, Lettuce and Willy, you know, I feel like. I feel like we're a good team. Maker. Originally, I didn't want to make any friends with my mission of removing all the nether. If anything, I expected to make enemies. But because of Spawn's skill level, he couldn't find any teammates. And he was all alone on the server. I knew that PvP wasn't all a teammate had to offer. Sometimes, you just need a friend. So, I took him under my wing and began a new friendship. Now, it was time to finally turn my illegal items into multiplayer. I'm in the middle. Nether right. Oh my god, bro. Look at this. That's actually insane, bro. I literally have infinite multipliers. Actually inflating the world. I, think, I, I don't think the economy will ever recover, like actually. You're gonna be the reason why level season three started. Actually, bro. And it wasn't long until I got my first customer. I right, render, 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 render. I want you to open your e chest and tell me how much netherite in total you have. Well, in, in terms of netherite, I have nothing in my inner chest. I don't believe you. Screenshot. Okay, so I'll hover over the uh, shulkers. What the hell do you have so much stone for? I will convert everything you have into diamond and give it to you in exchange for two multipliers. I'll, I'll give you the multipliers and the diamond stone. Well, I mean, if I have no issue. I mean, two multipliers is two multipliers. Do you need multipliers? Because I feel like you've died a lot on this. Server. Yeah, I would prefer to get more multipliers than what I have right so now. So if you mind netherite for me, I can give you multipliers in exchange for that. Don't know about that. What? Because I have a video that I want to work on and that would take up a lot of time. Although we didn't know it, this guy just started a massive issue with my plan, but I didn't know that. So I gave him his gear and started trading with my next customer. I'll do it because why not? How about I give you gear, like multipliers, totems, whatever you need, in exchange for you mining netherite. Mining netherite? Bro, I'll take it. I don't know if I had the time. After giving my second customer his items, I started to think twice about my plan. If I don't want to mine netherite by hand, I don't know why I thought other people would. So, I went back to step one and came up with a more efficient way to mine netherite. Okay, so this should work, hopefully. Oh my gosh, thank gosh. I think you just- No, I'm just gonna blow up, bro. <gasps> no! <laughs> okay, so I just need to make sure I don't make this bad. But as I tried to log on to the server... What? This was quite literally the worst thing that could have possibly happened. See, a few days ago, Flamefax heard about my wither skeleton farm, but without proof, I wasn't gonna be punished. So, Flame ventured from world border to world border for hours straight to find the farm. He was successful in finding it, and alerted the owner, who gave me a one week ban. If you think one week isn't a big deal, allow me to help you understand the weight of the situation. Flamefax and I are both much better than anyone else on the SMP, and since we're both enemies, it keeps the server in a state of balance. Flame being on the server is the only thing that stops me from slaughtering everyone in sight, since he can defend them. The issue is, it works the other way around. So, with no one to stop Flame, he had a full week to do anything he wanted, and my teammates fell victim to this. Oh, I'm- my PC's still lagging. As Flame perched everyone in sight, he kept their armor. When people lose netherite armor, they have to mine it back. Taking netherite from the nether is the easy part. Taking it from players' ender chests is the hard part. So, the more players that have netherite, the more issues I'll have. I couldn't let this happen for a week straight. I had to find a way to remove netherite while being banned. So, I called my teammate for some help. Uh, Willy? Yeah? You know how I'm banned for a week? Yeah. Can I, can I put those on your account? Uh... 
Oh my gosh. Bro, I'm Willy, bro. This is actually insane, bro. All right, although this gives me a chance to remove another raid, I, I have to be really, really careful because account sharing is like a permanently bannable offense. Like, if I get caught, I'm getting removed from the world of SMP. And although I originally planned to use Willy's account to mine netherite, when I stumbled across two players screen sharing wearing some shiny netherite armor, I know I had to set up a trap and claim it for myself. But I would soon find this to be my worst mistake. Okay, they're coming in now. They're coming in now. He tried to TNT trap us. Alright, I'm actually gonna kill him. Bro! Okay, that was a bit embarrassing. Not only did I not do a single heart of damage, but now an entire team wants me dead on Willy's account. I think for now, the best thing I can do is just gear up so I can make the uh, netherite mine. And after a few hours of grinding, I had a fully maxed out inventory. But what I didn't have was an efficient food source, golden carrots. The only thing is, the nearest golden carrot villager was at Team Kalal and Jumper Who's base. The players who I tried to trap. So, I made the mistake of going to their base, hoping that they would forgive me for my trap on them. Oh my god, look who it is, Jaden. It's big win. Go enjoy his- Tell him to go enjoy his big Wait, where is he? Where is he? He's, he's on my base, right? Yeah. Where? Right here. Oh, don't, okay, he's not doing it. Like, he hasn't done it. I don't care, it's on site. It was clear that this guy was not gonna forgive me, so now I had two options. Run away and risk dying, or fight back. I didn't want to die and spend more time regearing, so I made my biggest mistake and fought back. I know. Did the team win? Yeah, I think. Oh, keep on going. ran from the fight, but they were catching on. Willy is much worse at PvP than I am, so they quickly realized that someone was on his account. <laughs> Bro! That was not- was that actually Willy? No, that wasn't- if he was on a trackpad, that wasn't actually Willy. Someone's on his account. I am never toxic after fights, so I started being super toxic in chat to throw them off. Because if I get caught, I will be permanently banned. Dude, why is vacation really crazy, bro? And as I was typing in chat, I came up with a plan. Flame Frags has been recently killing players to drain multipliers and keep everyone weak. So, if I rename my sword to Flames Names and kill my teammate Lettuce for no reason, they would have to put two and two together. They will kill me. Really? Nah. Yeah, yeah no, this, yeah, this, this is can... flame, bro. This is flame. I'm telling you. I and can, you I can geolocate that IP though. Um, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, look at the flame, hello? Guys, this is what I'm saying. What the heck? They fully believed it, but I'd forgotten one crucial detail. Flame is on the SMP. There's no point of him logging onto Willie's account since he could just log on and attack people. Plus, they could just ask him to share his screen and prove it isn't him. If I didn't throw them off soon, they would catch on and realize that it's me on Willie's account. So I switched to my left hand as a final resort to throw them off. And it had almost worked. They were finally off my trail, but now I was faced with a difficult task. Since I was good at PvP, toxic during fights, and used my left hand, I had to find a person that fitted all of these traits so that they would stop trying to find out who it is and catch on that it was me. War main pair. This is Mugvum, a player known for dominating a very toxic YouTuber SMP. Not only does this guy use his left hand, but he's also insane at PvP. And yes, this is his Minecraft skin. I've got myself into a pickle, and you're the only person who can get me out. What? Let me uh, start from the start. So okay. on levels, I'm doing this thing where I'm removing all the nether right on this server, my, right? my teammate but Wilson I have a limited account. time to do so. Yeah, I'm my, my Wilson's account. account. Like, if I swap to the left hand, so I go yeah, back. I don't back. Don't know. No way I'm being framed for this, bro. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking the fall for this, right? Yes. Okay. Surprisingly, he agreed and sent most of the levels of SMP members friend requests to raise suspicion. And after having Mugum send a levels member a suspicious DM, I was added to a group chat of people who were trying to find out who the real person on Willie's account was. Right now, I either fully convince them it was Mugum or I get caught, and this entire video will have been for nothing. I noticed in his uh, video, he went from left to right hand, and he did the same thing during our fight. So, like, because I remember seeing left hand, and I was really confused. Is Mugum good? Mm -hmm. I know it's crazy. Mm. I had the whole thing on replay mod. Wait, 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 hold on, pause it, pause it, pause it. Do you have flame texture pack? 
Yeah. Put it on, put it on, put it on. Okay. Put this sword. Yo. So Flame yeah. didn't give him stuff. Cause that's a maxed out sword. Yeah, when Letters die, it's like the Flame. Do you have the replay shot for that? He, he, he's renaming it. Okay, okay, look, look at his sword, look at his sword. Oh. He <laughs> renamed it, bro! Did he do those? Did this to throw us off, maybe? Yeah, he did. Wait, right. Mug, Mug made Flame's texture pack. Yes, Mug. Without saying his name, I just convinced the entire server that it was Mug on Willie's account instead of myself. But throughout this video, some things may not have made any sense to you. So while I complete the first two steps, allow me to tell you the truth about this entire project. See, two weeks ago, a bounty of 64 Netherite ingots was placed on any S or A tier player to get death banned from the server. Four days yeah. later, Flame banned me in the nether while I was mining for netherite. Now, one week ago, Flame finds my wither skeleton farm and alerts the owner. He then uses my band to kill over 11 players and collect their netherite gear. Now, let's go back two months ago when Flame Flagged and I teamed up to protect the weakest player. This team was very short lived because since Flame and I were too overpowered together, no amount of players could compete against us. So, the owner of the server was forced to ban us from teaming. A duo so strong, we were forced to be split. But, what if this duo? never separated. No. As you know, there was an announcement recently. Whoever bans an A plus tier player, or like what wins a stack another right. Just say that JPEG showed you proof of me stealing your beacon, you come to kill me. Well, you get the another right and we split it. 30, oh. 32, 32. And now that my allyship was revealed, it was time to initiate the third step of the plan. Killing. Oh. And like, since everyone thinks we're enemies, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself banned for a week and you can use that week to like kill people and rob people for as much another as you can. And I'll let my teammates know to let you kill them so that like we don't look suspicious or anything. And like you bring it back to me. I'm down to do that, but uh, can I keep the... Um multipliers i mean after my own band we can just go around killing people i keep all the netherite you keep all the multipliers all right yeah yeah i can i can do that i can do the that. plan is simple there are 23 players in the smp in total six of which don't wear netherite so since the netherite from the nether and from everyone's ender chests are gone all i had to do to remove netherite from the server completely was kill all 17 of these players and it wasn't long until i found my first wait for you to fall in the <laughs> and then she let the <laughs> that's the sound of a player falling into the avoided the end dimension. Although the player who fell in was in diamond armor, three of his allies were trying to save him. One of the three were in netherite. But there was an issue. I had no idea where these people were. And it's not like they wanted to show their coordinates on the screen. Here's my cords if you uh, need it exactly. But before I arrived to the location, the netherite player had already left. But two of her teammates were still here. So I took advantage of the situation. Alright, Jumper, if you don't blow up all your netherite armor right now, I'm just gonna kill both your teammates. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why did me there? What? Okay, hold on. Six 50, Wait, Jumper! Wait, 50, Jumper 80, has my decision. 57. So basically, here, what's, go what's going on here is if I if I don't destroy my Netherite, then you're dead. 10, Can you give me diamond armor in return, nine, please? Eight, please. Seven, six. Oh, bro! Okay, 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 okay. Three. I don't think you should. Stay. And after catching an unlucky player AFK at his base, we can't ban it. No. Spunk, stop, stop, stop. No. It's, it, it's, it's just a... Uh, just a sacrifice, okay? I started to think more about my action. At this point, everyone was catching on to what was happening. Under that, once the server found out I was allied with flame frags, it wouldn't be long until a rebellion would form against them. Eventually, killing people for netherite wouldn't work. So, what if we convince them instead? Recently, on the server, there's been an election for king slash queen of the server. If my team could secretly be a voice behind the king, we would have full control over the server. And members would have no idea. With a plan to make netherite armor illegal, we met with our favorite candidates to discuss. Okay, so, the reason, first of all, the reason I code you to high pixels is because what I'm about to offer you guys, uh, I can't let any of the other server members know. By the end of our conversation, the two presidential candidates agreed that in exchange for guaranteeing their team's win, they would form as a voice for my team. After this conversation, I found a netherite player at my base, so, of course, I killed him. But apparently, this kill was the server's final straw. There's and a group chat created, which is the top 10 PVPers other than you, Flame, and Render. Wait, 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 pause. You see where it says, because you, you guys are the people when you prioritize when it comes to the year? 
It probably means there's also a larger team, but these are just the prioritized people. Thanks to my allyship with the president, I was informed that most of the SMP teamed up and will be ambushing my entire team to end us off the server and stop us from removing Nether. I won't lie, I was stressed out. Although our team had the three best PvPers, I knew my weaker teammates would be the ones to fall victim to this. I needed a way to stop their ambush, so what if I scheduled a fight instead? But these players needed a reason to fight. Originally, they requested that if we lose the fight, Flame Frogs would get his first death so in attempt to defend flame i convinced them to change their offer flame frags is a very strong pvp -er. obviously you guys know that he's miles better than anyone on, on the server the only thing stopping flame from going around killing whoever he wants and trust me he wants to he really likes pvping is he doesn't want to get his first death that's the reason he said it many times he doesn't run he doesn't run uh speed in his kit and he can get so many more kills the only thing stopping him is because he wants to protect his immortal image. You realize that if Flame gets his first death, you guys will be the ones to fall victim to whatever happens after that. Soon, they requested that if my team lost the fight, I am banned from wearing Netherite ever again. So, I request that if my team wins the fight, no one on the SMP except for us six can wear Netherite ever again. The deal was made. One of my teammates, Lettuce, didn't want to fight, so it was a 5 versus 8. In two days, we would fight at spawn. The fight won't end until the entire side of one team is dead. In preparation, I started to set up a minecart trap just in case things went south, but as I was doing this, I couldn't help but remember back to my conversation with the presidential candidate. When he showed me the team group chat, my teammate Lettuce was in it, and now he suddenly doesn't want to fight. I knew I had just been betrayed, and now I would be fighting a 5v9. Winning this fight was the only way for me to stop everyone from wearing netherite, so I met up with Lettuce and attempt to win him over. Do you associate yourself with? Because it seems that, you know, there was a um, few Mario, issues. Was you, me, Willie Sponks. Just kidding. Why would I give a traitor a second chance? But I wasn't kidding when I said winning this fight is the only chance for me to stop everyone from wearing netherite. I had to find a way to win this fight. Although our team is very strong, we had one weak point, Spongs. Although he's my closest ally, Spongs is the worst player on the entire server. If Spongs could survive, we could stand a chance, but the entire opposing team will target him. So we came up with a plan. Turtle Master Potions are potions that can grant a player almost full immortality for a few seconds. If Spongs carries a full inventory of these instead of normal potions, we can pick off the entire enemy team one by one while they desperately try to kill Spongs. The only issue is that these things require turtle helmets to make, and I have zero, so it was time for some farming. I just kill all um, three turtles and we have to restart. <laughs> Let's go. No! No, no, don't kill one! Don't kill one! We oh. needed that one, bro. No, don't worry. They can have um, meaningful breeding full time. Meaningful breeding full. Okay. And once we had the potions, the day of the fight was here. If we lose, this entire video will have been pointless. But if we win, the server will never be the same. Line your team up. Line your team up. And then us, we all line bro. up here. <laughs> yeah, line our team Let up. me be in the middle, bro. I'm, a, I'm the spokesperson. Bro thinks he's the f***ing leader. The Get leader. in the f***ing line. I'm the leader of the team, bro. Should we split separate calls? Here, it's you need this. Alright. Four, three, two, one. Holy. Let's go. Watch out. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, they are really I'm, targeting, I'm targeting that. Thing. Nice. Hard target lettuce. Hard target lettuce. I'm actually getting. It. Oh my god. Turtle man. I got lettuce. I got lettuce. I got lettuce. Nice. Yes. Jumper's nice, bro. Jumper's gotta go. Nice. Nice. Dude. Just 
watch Murder's <laughs> guest don't watch. This is so cold. This is our coldest thing, bro. I'm looking him in his eyes as I kill him. Not work. He's done, he's done. Nice. That's it. Oh my god. That's a wrap. Jeez. It was finally done. After two months of hard work, Netherite armor had been officially removed from the server permanently. Oh, and about that TNT minecart trap. What? <laughs> what?